Hello everyone, my name is Sarah. I am the knitter behind Denim and Rain here, and today I'm going to do a short tutorial on how to work up your socks. I have a few patterns for chunky slipper-like socks. Um, the first one I have is my movie night slipper socks. It has got some color work on the leg, a fabulous rolled cuff, and yeah, I just I love these so much. So yeah. I've got these ones. I have my loft slipper socks, which again has got color work, but this time it flows all the way from the leg all the way down to the toe. And stripes and color work, well, they knit super fast, so I love those. And then we have my most recent, which is my little stitious socks, which come, they go from little kid size all the way up to large man size. So, if you like to knit socks for gifts, I highly recommend this pattern. Plug, 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 plug. Sorry, have to, I have to. Um, anyways, this is the Little Stitches sock. It has a fabulous texture stitch along the front of the leg and foot portion, a great one by one rib. Yeah, it's just a great beginner friendly sock, especially and paired with this video and I will have time signatures down below in the description for you as well as the links to all these fabulous socks so make sure you go check those out I will have links to my Etsy Ravelry and website and Instagram and all the other places so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get started knitting Okay, so to start us off today, I'm going to show you the anatomy of a sock. At the top here, we have our cuff. This particular cuff has a folded style and a one by one. Here we have the leg portion. This here is the heel flap, the spot that goes behind your heel. The part that goes under your heel here is your heel turn. This portion on the side of your foot is the gusset. We have the foot portion and the toe. And this will hopefully just help you out in knowing when the patterns are telling you the portions of the sock. Because I know when I first started doing socks, I was like, what the heck is a heel flap, heel turn, and gusset? So there you are, the basic anatomy of your sock. Okay, so we're gonna get started. I have my yarn and my interchangeable needles with a nice long cord which you will need for magic loop so let me go ahead and show you how to do the magic loop how to get that set up got a tangled mess of yarn here don't mind me goodness gracious okay with that ridiculous mess. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So I like to just use long tail cast on, nothing fancy. So you're gonna cast on however many stitches that particular sock requires. So I'm going to, for my sock, cast on 26 stitches. All right, so I've done my cast on, got all of my 26 stitches there. Now I did have quite a long tail here, so what I like to do is you can either trim it or I like to just make a little knot here with my tail just in case for whatever reason I have to rip this out and that wasting yarn. So there's that. Now I'm going to divide these stitches in half. So count up to half of your stitches. Oh, 
Okay. And then here I'm just going to pull my cord through. Like so. So I have now half of the stitches on one needle and half of them on the other. And then we are going to join in the round. There are lots of different methods. You can do your um, preferred method. Uh, I will show you mine. So I have over here the working yarn, and on this side I have the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the working yarn and I'm going to move it to this needle, like so. And then I'm going to take this last stitch and I'm going to pass it over that one and onto this needle, like so. And now it's in the round. So now I'm going to start stitching my ribbing. So for the magic loop, I'm going to pull my working needle through. So I have a nice long working amount of space on this side and I'm going to just start knitting. So I'm going to be doing a one by one rib for these socks. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to pull that working needle through, put it on this one. And I'm just going to take this guy, pull it out again, bring it over to meet this stitch, and just continue knitting. Super easy. Ta-da! And that's working magic loop. And you'll just continue that on for the entirety of working in the round. So now I'm going to move on and we'll show you the next step. All right, so here we are. We have got now our cuff knit and then the leg portion of the sock. Now, we are going to move on to the heel flap, heel turn, and gusset. So, this again is the little stitches sock pattern. So, it's got the fun little texture stitch along the front of the sock. Now, we are going to be knitting the heel flap here on the back of the sock, and then the heel turn and gusset. So, to start, we are going to make sure we have a nice amount of working yarn here. And you'll follow the amount of stitches that the pattern tells you. And the first stitch, we're going to just go ahead and slip that. And then we're going to knit across the back here. And there we are. We've made it to the other side. Now we're going to turn our work because now we are going to be working in rows instead of in the round of the sock. So, now that we have the wrong side facing us, we are going to purl these stitches. First stitch we are going to slip, and the reasons we are slipping the stitches is so we can then pick those up for our gusset, which we'll show you in just a minute. But slip that first stitch and then just purl across. And there we go, we have now done two rows. And we're just gonna continue that until the pattern, um, until the amount of rows that the pattern states. So just continue doing that until you hit that amount of rows. Um, if it makes it easier, you can always put a stitch marker um, when you start your heel flap. Um, otherwise, if you change colors, obviously it's a little bit easier. But yeah, so we're just gonna continue on, slipping that first stitch and knitting and purling across these rows. Okay, I've now knit all the rows that I need for my heel flap. So now that you have that portion done, we are going to work on the heel turn. So my particular pattern has me starting a knit row for my heel turn. So you're going to knit to however many stitches the pattern states. Um, so I'm going to slip my first stitch and then I'm going to knit
Okay, now all that I have knit to the amount of stitches that I need to, I'm going to knit these next two stitches together. So I'm knit those two together. And then I'm going to knit one. And once I've done that, we're going to turn. And we are now going to be working short rows for our heel turn. So I'm going to slip the first stitch and purl. Okay, now I'm going to purl the next two stitches together. And then purl one. Like so. And then we're just going to continue on. Going to turn, going to slip, and then I'm going to knit until I get to the gap. Now, when we say gap, this is what we're talking about right here where we turned. So I'm going to knit to one stitch before that gap right here. It's a big giant hole I've got. And I'm going to knit those two stitches together, the one before and the one after the gap. And then knit one. And then turn. And we're going to just continue that on until we have no more gap gapped stitches. So we're going to purl until one stitch before the gap. Right here. See that gap here where we turn. And I'm going to purl the stitch before and the stitch after the gap. Purl those together and purl one. And turn. Slip one. Knit to the gap. And that's the last two stitches. So I'm just going to knit those last two stitches together like so and turn. Slip that first stitch, purl, all right, and now we are to that gap and we're going to just purl those last two stitches together, like so. All right, so there we have our heel flap and now we have our heel turn. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on the gusset. Let me pull some more yarn here. Some more working yarn. This tweedy yarn is making a giant mess. I've got so many little bits of tweed stuff everywhere. All right. So we are now going to start working in the round again. I'm going to slip this first stitch and then knit across my heel turn. Now at the end of my heel turn, I need to get from here to here. So I'm going to pick up and knit into these slipped stitches. Your pattern should state how many slipped stitches that you need to be picking up in the side of your sock. So I'm gonna do that to stick my needle through that first slip stitch yarn and knit and we're going to do that across all these right here okay so i've picked up the six stitches that my pattern requires for this particular size. And then once I've made it through, I'm gonna pull my magic loop through here again, push my needle onto the front of the sock, like so. My working yarn, pull this needle through, and then just knit across the top of the foot. Okay, now we've made it across the top of the foot. We now again need to make it from here down to the other needle. So I'm going to pull this out, 
pull my magic loop through so I can pick up these slipped stitches on this side of the sock right there. Okay, I'm going to stick my needle into the first one. I knit really tight, so even my slip stitches, I tend to make a little bit too tight sometimes, so. All right, and I picked up those six stitches on the side there. And now I'm just going to knit around. So I'm knitting one full round until I've made it back to this point. And if it makes it easier for you to remember where your beginning of round is, you can put a stitch marker here, um, which most patterns will either tell you to or you just remember. Um, I usually just remember that once I hit my heel turn for the gusset section, this is my beginning of row, so, or round, sorry. So I'm going to knit all the way around until I get back to the heel turn, and then we will begin a decrease round. All right, so I'm back to my beginning of the round here at my heel turn. So I've got all these stitches on this one side and then all the top of foot stitches on the front. So we need to decrease these stitches, our heel turn gusset stitches, down to the same amount of stitches that is on the front of our sock. So we need, I need to get mine back down to the 13 stitches. So we're gonna do that by doing decreases on the sides of the sock. So we're gonna do that by doing that every other round. So I'm going to knit to three stitches before the split of my magic loop. So we're gonna knit up there really quick. And now I'm going to knit these two stitches together. So this side will knit two. So these two stitches, knit those two together. And then we're gonna knit one. And then we're gonna knit the top of the foot. And then when we get to the other side, we'll slip, slip knit. So this side leading up to the top of the foot is knit two together. This side leading down is slip, slip knit. So the best way to remember that is up, Knit two together, down, slip, slip, knit. Slip, down. At least that's how I remember it, because I always forget when I get to my the gusset, I'm like, shoot, which side do I slip and which side do I knit two together? So the best way is going down, you slip. Okay, so now that we're to the other side where we're going to be slip, slip, knitting, um, we're going to knit the first stitch and then we're going to decrease. Get some more working yarn here. Okay, so pull my magic loop through. I'm going to knit this first stitch and we're going to slip, slip, knit. Now my preferred method of slip, slip, knit is actually just one slip. So I will slip this first stitch onto my working needle and then turn it and put it back on. Instead of slipping both stitches, I just slip the first one. I feel like it makes a little bit cleaner of a look. So now I'm going to knit those two stitches together, like so. And then knit back to your beginning of round, which is here. And then we're going to knit a full round, and then the next round will be a decrease round. And you'll continue that until you are down to the amount of stitches that the pattern requires for the bottom of your foot. All right, so here we are. I finished my cuff, my leg, my heel flap, 
my heel turn and the gusset decreases on the side of my foot. And now I have reached the point where I'm going to start my toe. So you will get up to however many rounds the pattern states or however long the foot is. Usually it's about this much for your toe, about two inches, depending on how long your toes are. Um, and we're going to go ahead and cast on that toe portion. So I've got my toe color, which is the same as my cuff color. Got a tangled mess here. Got the yarn wrapped around my finger here. Pull my magic loop through. I'm going to add in this color and I'm just going to knit my first round just to introduce this color into the sock. Okay, now that I've reached back at the beginning of the round, I'm going to take this little tail and I'm going to reach in and pull it inside of the sock. That way it's just not in the way and I have a nice clean working space. If I can find it, where is it? There it is. Pull that out. Okay, now let's go ahead and get started on the decreases for our toe. So we're going to knit that first stitch and now we are going to slip, slip, knit. Or as, like I said before, I prefer just one slip and knit. And then we knit to three stitches before the end of this portion. Alright, so we have three stitches left here. Now we are going to knit two together here. Knit those two together and knit one. And then we're going to do the exact same thing for the bottom of the toe. Okay, so we are going to knit one, slip, and then knit these two together. And knit to three stitches before the end of this row. And we're going to knit these two stitches together. And knit one. And we are back at the beginning of the round. So for this round, we are now going to knit and then the next row, sorry, next round, we will decrease and then knit around and then decrease around until we get to the amount of stitches that the pattern states. So I'm going to go ahead and knit this round and then decrease the next round and so on until I reach the tip of my toe and we'll show you how to Kitchener. Okay, so I have finished my toe and I am down to the amount of stitches that my pattern requires. And I'm going to go ahead and start the Kitchener stitch to close up that toe. So I'm going to cut a nice long tail here for me to work with. I have my yarn needle here that I'm going to thread up. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So you need to have an even amount of stitches on each needle. So I have five stitches on each needle here and you have the working yarn on the back side. So to start I'm going to take my needle, put it through knit wise on the first stitch of the front needle. I'm going to push it off like so. Now I'm going to take this needle and put it through the next stitch purl wise like that. And now I'm going to just pull it through both of those stitches that I just put my needle through like that and just give a nice little tug. Now we're going to move around to the back needle. 
and I'm going to put my darning needle purlwise through the first stitch and pull that off. Then I'm going to put it in the second stitch and put it through knitwise and then pull my yarn through both of those stitches. And again, pulling it nice and taut. And then I'm going to continue doing that. So putting my needle through the front, first stitch, knit wise, and pull that stitch off like so. And then putting it through the second stitch, purl wise, and pull it through. And we're just going to continue that pattern. Now we're going to go to the back, purling, putting our stitch through purl wise and slipping that off. And then going through the second stitch, knit wise, and pulling it through. And now moving to the front, putting it through knit wise, slipping it off, going through the second stitch, purl, pull it through. Now through purl wise on the back, slip it off, knit wise. Pulling it through. I used to have to look at a video every single time I knit a sock, but now I've pretty much got it memorized. Um, sometimes it can be confusing, so don't feel disheartened if you have to refer to a video every time you knit a sock, because I still do. So again, back at the front, knit wise, slip it, purl wise, pull it through. needle, purl wise, slip it, second knit, second stitch, knit wise, pull it through. Now, this last one, I'm going to take it, put it through that last stitch on the front needle, knit wise, and I'm going to actually just pull these out, set those aside, and I'm going to take my needle and put it through that stitch there, and pull it through. Now you kind of end up with a little whoop de doo so I like to stick stuff my hand down in my sock and I'm going to kind of punch my needle through and pull that inside the sock. It can be a little bit fiddly and pull that in. And ta -ta. A nice toe. And now you're just gonna flip your sock inside out and sew in all of your ends. You know, our favorite part is knitters. So there you are, how to set up your magic loop for your cuff, how to do your heel turn, sorry, your heel flap, your heel turn, your gusset, and your toe with Kitchener. So there you are, I hope you found this helpful. If so, make sure you like and comment below. And I hope you enjoy knitting. Make sure you check out all of my patterns at my website or Ravelry and Etsy. The links will be below for all the different socks that I have, both the Little Stitches sock, which is this one, my Movie Night Slipper sock, and my Loft Slipper set sock patterns. Thanks so much for checking it out and have a fabulous rest of your day.